What's going on, we gamers? Today we're going to be going over a little bit more Elden Ring, and what I'm going to be covering today is how you can get your hands on that somber smithing stone number five. Now, usually I don't bring out single guides, but this one was a nightmare to find, and I found a lot of the others before this, so I thought it might help a few people out. So if that interests you, stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, as always, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon? I'll bring you all the latest and greatest in content, hints, tips, guides and builds, and just some fun gameplay and reviews as well. But for today, we're here to find the somber smithing stone number 5, an absolute nightmare to get hold of. Now where you'll need to go to is all the way over here in Kaled. And the checkpoint you're after is Inner Aoni. Now if you're wondering, I can't get there, it's too early for me, there is a way to get here, you go for a trap chest, just over here in Dragonburnt Ruins and that's going to activate and take you all the way over to this crystal mine. But if you can, you could quite easily get here on your horse, so it kind of depends on what level you're at and how geared up you are. From here you're going to go just in the direction I just pointed out. Travelling on horseback obviously works the fastest. I tried to attack this enemy because I thought it was going to be something special, I wouldn't bother, it gives you absolutely nothing. Continue down this route and you'll start to know when you're in the right place because you're going to see these strange glowing worms. As soon as you see them it's kind of highlighting the path and probably best to avoid this one because apparently there's exploding versions. Now at this point it is completely up to you, you can take on this enemy but he does have quite a bit of health. So if you're not very well prepared or if you're too close to him he may heal you because he does a kind of area attack. Ultimately though I found he's not really worth attacking afterwards so I just stealth past him and picked up the item. As you can see here if you want to know what he drops it's a whole bunch of not much, I think it was about 170 runes so less than most of the standard enemies. I just wanted to see if there was anything behind him because there's all of those crystals and such. Now just here it says think carefully, I don't know if I was supposed to not kill that person but afterwards I went around had a look and all I found was these glintstone fireflies. You can actually find these quite often in places so ultimately I don't think this is really worth grabbing up all of that, it is mainly just for the Somberstone 5. But as always gamers, hopefully that's helped a few of you out, that one's a nightmare to get hold of and this is the only place I've found along my travels, so this may well work out for you. As always, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, take care, I'll see you on the next day.